I have somebody here, and uh, what I have here is a couple. So we have here the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And whenever the two kings, well, whenever the two court cards, the king and the queen comes out in the deck, it indicates to me uh, a strong connection between two people. And I feel like it's a mental connection. The mental connection basically means that you two have very similar ideology, similar goals, similar outlook in life, similar feelings about other people, about uh, each other. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of, um, it, it's, it's almost like, yes, the, the love, the respect, the feelings are there. But it seems like it's um, both parties are masking their feelings and they portray a very platonic um, energy when they interact with one another. Does that make sense? So it, it seems like you're hiding behind your intellectual um, capabilities when you're trying to deal with this person and you're not expressing things from the heart and they likewise mirror your energy where they're not really they're not really um, expressing who their feelings from the heart but there's definitely this underlying current of I really care about you I really like you I wish we could be more so I feel like there's there might be some other people there might be family there might be social expectations there are constraints between the two of you that's disallowing you from getting together for whatever reason um, the person that I'm seeing here this Queen of Swords there's a lot of pain and heartache that she's dealing with in regards to you Okay, so I see messages that you're sending that they're disregarding, not because they don't care about you, but it's just they don't know how to respond. Um, and so I have possibly an air sign. Once again, you're dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, sun, moon, or rising. I also see a, a fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But either way, this is a person that I feel they, they really, really deeply care about you. And they feel very, very hurt by you. And so if you're giving them very superficial communication, you know, hey, what's up? Or um, what are you up to? They're not going to respond. They want either an apology, an explanation, or they want some type of a they, they they want an emotional expression from you. So superficial communication, I don't feel like it's going to really stir this person into responding to you. I see you reaching out to this person. I see you still wondering, do they still like me? You might be consulting people, asking, do they still like me? How do they feel about me? And I see like you're obsessing over it. And the other person, likewise, is doing the same thing. But I, I just feel like you both are not really talking about your emotions or your feeling. You're hiding behind your intellectual mask. Okay? And I feel like this is a person who might be a workaholic. They bury themselves in work. And, and work is sort of like their, their safety comfort zone. And so if you've hurt them... They're, they're not going out and, you know, dating people and acting like they're single and, you know, having the time of their life. They're actually burying themselves in the work so that they don't feel things. Um, I feel like some of you might be dealing with someone who's self-employed, first of all. I also feel like you're dealing with someone who's, uh, who's definitely single right now. They're not dating other people. And they're, they're still very much, you know, in love with you. And they still care very deeply about you. Um, I feel like you've been living under other people's expectations for too long. Family expectations, cultural expectations, uh, social expectations. And you have been doing things exactly by the book. You've been living like a very safe existence. Because... You might not want the backlash or because, you know, there's safety and security. And I feel like your mentality is more like, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And it's like traditions persist because they work 
for whatever reason they work. So let's not go against the tie. Let's just go with the, the flow. And I also feel like this is somebody that uh, really, you know, they, they chart their own course. They're a trailblazer. They're a maverick. And their independence is what really, um, it, you see it as a little bit of a threat, okay? Because you're somebody that is very, very traditional. And when you do things, you really, really think things through. And you feel like this person is a little bit um, too reckless. I don't feel that they're reckless. It's just they're used to taking care of themselves. They're very self-sufficient. They're independent thinkers. They're independent doers. So they're going to chart their own path and they're going to follow their own, uh, the beat of their own drums. And, and in a way that, you know, nonchalance, I feel like it, it, it doesn't sit well with you. And that might be why you're afraid that, well, if they're like this, maybe they're also very loose with relationships. So you might think that they get around. You might think that they have multiple options. They definitely have a lot of people that are interested in them, but I feel like, you know, they're devoted and loyal. And a big part of you might not trust that or might not believe that about the other person. Um, what I'm seeing from your end here, I feel like there's some regrets from your end. Regrets that somebody is um, leaving. They might be leaving. They might have left already or they might be leaving soon and starting something new. So I feel like some of you are a little bit kind of uh, saddened by it. You put on a brave face, but I also feel like you want a, a change of scenery. You want to move. You want as well to walk into the next phase of your life. I don't know what that means exactly. I feel like for some of you, this could be, I want to live my life. I don't want to be bogged down by other people's expectations. I've been doing that my whole life and I just want to live my life. I also feel like a home environment, that's a little bit too crowded, either physically crowded, there are too many people, or energetically too crowded, too many people's expectations, too many people telling you how to do things and not enough peace and harmony. And I also feel like you're being questioned with everything that you do. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? It could be questioned from higher ups, questioned by the people around you, or just, you know, everything that you do, you feel like you have to give a response, explain yourself. And you feel like I'm at a point where I'm a perfectly rational, capable, trustworthy person. I don't need to explain to anybody. Why should I need to explain every step of the way? Why can't people just know my intentions, just understand my intentions? And that's what's really refreshing about this person here is um, when I mention you have that mental connection. They understand where you're coming from. You understand where you're, they're coming from. You don't have to over explain yourself. When you're with that person, they don't judge. They understand you. And I feel like you're coming to the realization that not a lot of people understand you on that deep level. And, you know, it, it, it gets to the point where it feels like you have to justify your actions and you feel like I don't need to do that because I haven't done anything wrong. And based on my track record, everyone should, should know that I'm capable and competent. So I wouldn't make a mistakes or I wouldn't take a specific course of action unless I felt it was right. So why do I need to sit here and explain? And why are they asking me all these questions about my, my motives? So it, it can feel to me like it's a little bit aggravating. I feel to be in your shoes and to, to, to feel like I've made nothing but good decisions. And yet I'm being questioned. I'm being put on the, 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 the auction block, you know, having to like on the pulpit, having to explain what I'm doing. And I'm also sensing as well, there's brush, <laughs> brush in, I, I feel like run ins, the, the word I'm hearing is brush in, but 
the, the word is run in, like run in with um, family members that, especially in laws, in laws when it comes to, you know, um, holiday festivities. And I feel like there's a, in, there's somebody traveling to come see you. There, you're possibly traveling to see somebody and you're just like not really know how you feel. You're not sure how you feel about this new venture, about this visit or about, you know, making this visitation. So there's some trepidation I'm feeling associated with that. I'm also sensing as well, there is a major revival in love and relationship, especially for those who are single. Major, major, major revival. And if you are single and looking, I definitely feel like there's somebody uh, coming into the picture that is um, that is really good for you. And I feel like that you know they 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 encourage you or they inspire you to be truthful and honest. They encourage you to be at your best. And honestly, it's because a lot of the times. When we're with somebody, and I don't know exactly what it is, but let, let's just say, for example, um, just for an example, okay, so no offense, Taurus. Um, let, let's just say you're, you, you always have a tendency to exaggerate, but for whatever reason around this person, you're very truthful, you're very measured, and let's just say... Um, you have a tendency to, you know, brag about your income, brag about um, uh, your accomplishments. When you're around this person, it's just those things don't matter. The pretenses that we put up, the, the, the facade that we put on, you know, like none of these things matter. And so I feel like they inspire you to be a better person. And what I feel, though, is the the fact that they inspire you to be a better person is not really stemming from them, but it's more like they see the best in you. So you don't feel judged. You don't feel like they're weighing out how much you make. And also, a big part of you is this deep sense of knowing that these things don't matter to the other person. So why talk about it? If it doesn't matter, why talk about it? So I definitely feel like you're making a really good uh, connection with another person. And I feel like there's a lot of passion um, that can be had that's kind of brewing under the surface that no one's talking about, but it's definitely there. So you both are kind of hiding behind this facade. Like, oh, who cares? But I feel like, you know, the, the, the feelings are there. It flows mutually. And I also feel like somebody is telling you to come visit. Somebody is telling you, you know, um, somebody is, is, is like looking at you. I, I see a lot of like checking up on you, looking at you. And I also see somebody who's, you know, um, they, they've, they've either, if this is a new person, it's somebody that is uh, different from you, very different from you culturally. I see like waves, I see the ocean, so they could be, you know, different in nationality from you, different in culture, different in language. So there are a lot of differences between the two of you. And as a result, it might not feel like a safe choice for a tourist. Like there are too many differences. There are too many um, things that we have to overcome, so I'm not really sure I want to invest the work and the time in. But I feel like you're very fascinated by this person. I'm also seeing as well, uh, many of you are, are kind of, um, I'm, I'm seeing like news communication from overseas. Over a large body of water, so for example, if we're in the continental U.S., it could be Alaska, even though that's not na um, exactly, you know, outside of the United States. It could be Hawaii. I, I see, like, um, from the Pacific. So news coming from the Pacific, like the, the Pacific Islands or those, uh, the area in the Pacific. So communication from family, news from far away. And then I'm also seeing a lot of career opportunities that people are bringing to your attention. I don't see you doing anything about it, like putting in the job application or doing anything like that. But I feel like you're reading it, you're noticing it, you're bookmarking it and, and storing them away at a, for a later date. 
And I would say time is kind of ticking. So if you're interested, just, you know, put in your bid and see what happens. Because I feel this element of time. I feel like there are a lot of things that you want to do. But I feel like you are constrained by family expectations. Okay, there are a lot of things that you want to leave behind. There are a lot of things that you want to execute. A lot of things that you want to get off the ground. A lot of things that you've been dreaming of doing but you're afraid of censorship you're afraid of not getting the support that you need from the people that are really dear to you you know not just some random strangers on the street but family expectations and i feel like there is a big family for many of you big families so it's like there's a lot of people a lot of inputs and it seems like you don't feel like you can get their support and so you don't do it. But I feel like these ideas are bursting forward and it's really asking you to honor, to, to honor your truth and to honor the things that really inspire you and to, um, you know, not live your life under the, somebody else's thumb, but really, really take the active steps to live your life. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it at that here, Taurus. I hope that is helpful for you. And uh, I do wish you all the best. Okay. Um, let me see if there's, there is one last thing actually. There's one last thing. Um, I, I almost feel like I see this energy of uh, carrying a torch for somebody and whenever I see like carrying a torch for somebody that's usually when when somebody thinks someone else is really really attractive so it stems from like a physical attraction from a sexual attraction and whatever you decide to do about it I, I mean that's entirely up to you but I feel like it's a very strong physical connection that you feel with another person right now for this week at least okay and come what may whatever you decide to do with that that is really up to you, but I definitely feel a lot of communication back and forth here. So have a good week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.